Welcome Virgo to my channel Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing your reading. It is for the end of July for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Thank you for uh, coming by and uh, appreciate anyone that is new viewing the channel. Please uh, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Always love hearing from you. Um, I have uh, left the uh, personal reading <laughs> uh, uh, like information in the description however it seems now the slots are you know getting fully booked I might have a few left so um, it's because in August then I will be yeah traveling as well so however I will keep it open until the 31st of July so just make one pound um, like donation and then I can let you know when uh, I can do your reading uh, in terms of the time and then if I'm traveling of course then I can just agree to check in with you but I don't take the payment basically unless I can offer you the reading within three days so that's how how it's been so far and uh, I have enjoyed doing the readings uh, personal readings uh, however yeah schedule 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 so uh, perhaps in the future I will have more time and I would love to do that as well as YouTube all right Virgos enough of me waffling about that uh so virgo um many of you could be feeling the strain at the moment maybe for from caring for others um feeling a bit broken uh down down in the dumps or just feeling worn out however or this could be further away as well because you are picking yourself up quite fast so your life in general, you can, you know, you enjoy your life. You have a status here of being wealthy, enjoying your life. You have the ability, you know, um, whether you have a lot of money in the bank or not, that might not be the case uh, of demonstrating what you have in the bank because it's not really what I'm getting to. It's about how, what you make out of your life. You have the ability, Virgo, to, a bit like Capricorn, to make the most out of what you have regardless what you have and that is a skill that is being created that is um abundance really truly uh, because you can have a lot of money in the bank and not make anything out of that at all that's not giving that abundant feeling necessarily it's you are you have a, a skill a talent virgo you're able to just make the best out of what you have already so I am gathering there will be a new beginning in love and a new beginning when it comes to a project. You feel excited and there's just an extra spring in your step. It's possible someone that you have not been in touch with is going to reach out. This person, perhaps they were juggling. This is someone that you have strong feelings for. Perhaps this person thought that you will not reach out to them. Perhaps this person thought that <laughs> if they reach out, uh, well, you're going to cut them off. You might have two people in your energy, Virgo. There might be one uh, relationship that have you know that has ended for sure because. I see that you have a choice in love. You you have a choice, an option in love or your heart is making the choice and you are going towards your happiness. And that means probably you have two people or two paths that can be choosing yourself as well. But regardless, you have the two paths that you want at this time. Possibly, possibly there is someone in this energy that will not be your chosen one. However, this connection have already ended in the past. I'm picking this up. It's been on its last legs for some time. It's been hanging in a thin thread. It's has not been much to work with. There is a certain connection here and you would know who that is. Um, this is the person that you're moving forward with. This is exciting news. This is a yeah, just a very good news. Your heart will jump for joy, Virgo. I'm going to dive into your reading now. I'm definitely picking up, yeah, choices are going to be delivered to you, Virgo. And you feel very excited about those. 
messages or from different people as well I'm picking up. Um, yeah, you are making a decision here. And, uh, oh, excuse me uh, today, I, I have a, um, a health appointment tomorrow which will quite fast and I'm, <laughs> I'm running a bit on empty fuel so if I'm talking a bit weird, I, I think I'm not used to the, yeah, the various uh, symptoms you get when you have to, you know, not eat and stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm picking up that, okay, first let's look into this energy here. I'll go, um, Scorpio, Aries. Soulmate connection, someone wants to travel to calmer waters with you. Wow, this person has been feeling really stuck. They've been going through a transformation and they've been stuck repeating the same over and over. They've been a hermit. They could see my... Okay, all right. So if this is an ex, this person have just been very much stuck in their head there's a transformation going on they could experience financial issues uh, health issues as well they're coming out of a uh, hermit they're coming towards you this person is someone that potentially you were in a relationship with they have a lot of stress on their plate they have one foot in one foot out the door um this person is going to what are they going to do Please give me some mess more messages for Virgo. Okay, so this person, they've been stuck in something to do with childhood trauma, have been flaring up around them. There could also be a loss. It could be <clears throat> someone that's dealing with a family member that is deceased, uh, illness, it's taken them back in time. They've been fully focused there, but they've been grieving. They're slowly but surely getting back up on their feet, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, someone, is, I'm picking up quite a heavy energy. They just don't, um, they, they've been very, things have been very slow for them. And they know that the cups have been spilled. There's been no communication between the two of you and they haven't taken any action. <clears throat> All right, well, yeah, this energy here, Virgo, you would know who that is to you, of course. Um, they've, there's something that has ended in their life and it's never going to be the same. It seems like they're stuck holding on to, maybe reversing this ending as well. They feel very depleted. Uh, again, someone could have health issues and they could have been caring for others, but now they got their own health issues. I'm getting that as well. Um, very much of a standstill here. It, it could be them you receive a message from. They are going to be very happy to reconnect with you. They could have Pisces, Gemini in their chart. Um, yeah, strong Gemini as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's clarify. I'm just saying there, someone you will cheer up, a uh, Virgo, that you don't mind cheering up. I don't really feel like it's a, a bad ex coming back to, to, to sabotage. They seem to be feeling very weak. Um, yeah, I'm getting that bad. I'm not getting an energetic um, ex that is trying to do some kind of <laughs> playing uh, some kind of game or, or something like that or cause sabotage. I, I I'm picking up an energy here. They feel very, very depleted. They don't have the energy to do much these days. And um, yeah, very heavy um, energy, but more in terms of like, they're not doing anything. They feel burnt out. So Virgo, you might help this person um, by communicating to them. Let's see. You have the Queen of Wands and the Chariot. Um, you might plan travel. Um... See, there is someone that you look at. So for some of you, you might hear about this person going through an ending with someone as well. Or this is you. There's been a divorce. It's been difficult. Um, <clears throat> See, a heartbreak and strain and an ending has happened in the past between the two of you. 
but it is a long time ago and it is not the heartache that you think of and reflect of in the present time. There is communication coming in from this person. Hmm. Yeah. You will be very happy to hear from someone. Virgo. Someone is single. You are single. It's the perfect timing to hear from them. Page energy. All right. Yes. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio will express their feelings. They will tell you what happened in their life as well. Something, something they really, they went down, downhill. I'm picking up someone that initially started like overgiving and then they could have overgiven to family or something like that. And again, it caused uh, finances went, went downhill and their health went downhill because they did not seek help and support. So this person will reach out to you, Virgo. Um, yeah, this will, you know, you might not see this straight away because they will not contact you um, straight up. I'm just seeing someone that won't contact you straight up and saying, oh, Virgo, please uh, let's meet and I'm going to tell you exactly what happened in my life. Uh, I am picking up a few energies around you as well, uh, Virgo. So there, you might, there might be someone here that, well, a secret admirer coming out. This person want to take action towards you. You feel very excited that they want to take action. And it could come after you have had a time out with someone. I'm also picking up a Scorpio. But the secret admirer coming out and you having several options and you feeling, oh, I'm so sad about this soulmate union. I know this is my favorite person, but I had to wave goodbye. They went off and did their own thing. I've accepted it. I heal my heart. But then there is this someone's coming in. At first, you will be like, oh, no, I don't want to engage in this situation because, you know, it, yeah, it's exciting. But then again, you know, all, all the back and forth won't lead to anything. So it's, that's the thought coming to you. Something will happen, change here um yeah this person and you you will connect um there will be a time out but someone is going to reveal their feelings they're going to tell you they love you they are well the sparks will fly and you will feel very close when you meet it's a feeling you will experience when uh, you meet, but not until then. It could be a surprise that you feel this way as well. They might tell you something that at first you think, oh, wow, they're telling me that now. Something they will tell you. There's two people here saying, oh, I wish, I wish it didn't have to end this way. I wish things could be better. I wish shoulda, woulda, coulda here. But it is you, uh, Virgo, that have a plan B. This person only have a plan A. Okay, the page of wands for Virgo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Happiness that you thought was lost suddenly will appear out of nowhere. Seven of swords. So you could... Uh, either you being strategic or someone else is being strategic. Uh, okay. Um, all right. All right. Now I'm seeing it. Okay. There is an unhealthy relationship that's been going on behind the scenes that is attached to an energy that you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a Leo or Sagittarius, that will resonate for you. Uh, there's been a person in your life that you see as a soulmate, that you see as you will always love them, but you have let them go. They, you let them go, waved goodbye, and you say, I wish you all the best. Uh, and this person is coming back to tell you that it didn't really quite go as planned. It didn't turn out the way they planned, and they kept telling everyone that everything's fine. 
but actually it was not fine. So you will be, oh wow, really? Uh, and then you're wondering, oh, is that a, are they desperate kind of to get help? Or so you will have these thoughts about someone. But the son, and they, they could have received a child. Um, sounds weird, a received, you know, receiving a child by Amazon. <laughs> But yeah, conceived, oh, they have uh, got a child uh, since you met them last. So that could be this person. But um, yeah, it's it's a sudden invite. There's a sudden reconnection with either someone you were in a relationship or considered a relationship with at some point. They're coming out of the cold, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. They are now, um, you know, yeah, there's a, there's a soulmate with Leo and their child that is going to be revealed to you and uh, you see this person as a player. Uh, definitely here, um, Virgo. So either you might have uh, air elements in your chart, you've been dealing with someone that is mischievous, someone that steals lies, um, that could be in your energy as well. So that's an additional <clears throat> message that I'm getting, Virgo. You might be dealing with someone in your environment that you will catch red-handed and you will cut this person out, but I feel mm, it might not necessarily have to do with love. But it could be amongst friends or <laughs> there's something that will come up uh, where you have to deal with a situation that could seem uh, harsh and you will have to wave someone goodbye. <laughs> um, or this is someone that was acting as a player and now they come and they need you. If if there was a Leo in particular, again, it could be the same person. But I'm picking up the outcome is, so someone that's been holding on to an opportunity with you, um, Virgo, that you will be surprised about. You will be surprised someone actually have feelings for you because you and this person have not spoken at all. At all. Um, I, I'm not really getting... Uh, there is a reason of uh, dislike or not wanting to connect with you or each other. Uh, you just have not connected with each other because life happened. There could be a promotion in a work situation. You're definitely taking action that is going to give you attention. Um, getting you for a few, buying a new car. You could also disclose someone, maybe a queen of wands that was lying about or ca casting an illusion. You will receive answers. Yeah, so a person that you will connect with that you always had feelings for, that always had feelings for you, um, amongst these options, giving you attention, this soulmate will be there and that will be a surprise to you that you and them will connect actually. And as you and them connect, uh, realizing that feelings are there between the two of you. Uh, someone is holding on to you and hoping that one day you will connect and it looks like that one day is now. Again, the, the judgment is coming up. Uh, this could be an air sign, a message is coming in, someone is being brave, there is a breakthrough breakthrough with communication and the communication will be picked up. This could be a, a, an Aquarius as well. So the three of swords, the seven of swords, uh, the star. So it is possible here to heal a connection. I'm picking up more that is a connection that, you know, it wasn't life separated you. I don't, it was actually painful to be separated from this person. They thought it was painful. You have you have history with them, but it was something painful, but it couldn't be prevented. Life happened and so on. And now it's just a new cycle here. Uh, so I'm getting an Aquarius or Libra. Leo. Yeah. It's uh, two people know each other well but not speaking to each other and until you receive an invite so um could be a libra as well there will be communication it's it's a cycle and this cycle w w was always meant to bring this person to your life again it wasn't the right time in the past and it is the right time and you know how we always go through cycles sometimes you don't speak with someone for the longest time and you think why didn't I speak to someone for the longest time? Because everyone goes through different, you know, especially when you get a bit older. So, um, yeah, something like that I'm getting, but 
there's no bad blood between the two of you, but there's definitely someone here that would tell you that, oh, what happened all these years? Or it's um, two people connecting and saying, oh, well, this happened to me, this happened to me. And um, it's two people assuming what happened to each other, but don't really have the, the, the real answers. But you will feel very happy when you connect with this person. They don't think that you want to connect with them or that you even know they exist on planet Earth, <laughs> but that's not true. Uh, you have just both of you assumed that there is nothing between the two of you when there is. So I feel because of the lovers, this will be someone that you've already had a physical connection with, someone that, yeah, you've played with, <laughs> uh, playfulness. Um, your soulmate might differ from your usual type, expectations, yeah. I feel it could be a Scorpio and this could be the one. Yeah, it wasn't the right time and place. Suddenly you are connected and you're like, you're going to look at someone in a completely different way, basically, both of you. Um, yeah, that, that could come out of the blue, but it has to do with it. It's this person. I feel it's a Scorpio. They went through something very difficult, like got caught up in childhood uh, trauma or maybe it never left their childhood home or something about family as well if someone passed away they could have looked after um, other family members uh, but they got stuck so they let themselves go in order to look after someone else but in the end they also stayed in a relationship that was bad for them so this could be someone that is you know had to heal and actually implement new health uh, regime in order to change because they were just burdened and stuck in a rut and you might not have known that you might have thought oh this person so there's a person here showing that rich and famous doing things their way but actually hiding a broken heart and the broken heart is like a, a, a great loss it's not a it's not a, a fling that didn't uh, that fell through. It's, it's someone that have encountered a, a big loss. It's a it's a, a a loss that you cannot avoid to grieve. But perhaps uh, someone could have, you know, um, had more support because they were hiding their pain, and um, they are going to open up to you, Virgo, uh, about their pain. But I'm seeing here, yeah, you have options. So for many of you, you feel like lighthearted, you're out and about, you're receiving this attention. There is one message that will get to you where you are sort of, oh, <laughs> uh, if it's from a Scorpio that you've been in a relationship with, the first you will think it's like, oh, I don't really want to connect or, okay, let me get some more cards here. The five of swords for Virgo, please. Mm-hmm, yeah. Fives and fives. Mm-hmm, could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Or Libra. Aquarius or Libra. Someone that you've had, it's a soulmate connection that you've had uh, definitely a physical relationship with. Actually, you are a strong match, but you could have chosen between two people. Yeah, you chose between two people or two different parts here, uh, Virgo, and then you got caught up with feelings with someone, but actually that person, Virgo, that uh, Aquarius perhaps, is was someone that you did have a connection with, but someone else came in. So you could have moved forward with an Aries instead I'm picking up as well. And there is a, an, a Scorpio, either, either Scorpio, Aquarius, or Libra, uh, Ca Libra, uh, Scorpio, Cusp, there's just two people here. Actually, you probably almost love them equally in some ways, but different times in your life. That's what I'm picking up here. You just, you followed destiny and it wasn't the right time. Yeah, they've always held on to a hope of reconciling with you, but you don't think that they do or, or, or the other way around. There's two people thinking, nah, they, will, they don't like me. They could have Pisces in their chart obviously Pisces is the opposite yeah definitely a, a water sign they hope to reconnect with you but they think that 
you never think about them or like they just think that's just no 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 way that's gonna happen there's no point communicating I don't really see that it's like because they're too negative they just don't think that you both think that you don't want to talk to each other for some weird reason without any particular reason <laughs> there's actually not a particular reason it's just that it's it's almost like two people are assuming that you hurt each other. It's, it's not even like it's something you overcome a long time ago. You, are, you don't, neither of you have any grudge about it. But anyway, one, one of you will reach out. I'm, I'm seeing that here. And then it's like, who reach, who's going to reach out first? Do I answer the message or what's going to happen? So you could have all these thoughts up in your head and you're thinking, oh, are they playing games, this, that, and the other. It's just all these thoughts will come to you. But you might just also say, mm, no, I'm not, I'm not going to answer the message. I'm going to stay out in the cold and so on. But then you're going to go through this thinking and be, you're going to be like, oh, why am I... Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Basically, you're not finding a good reason. I do see someone is genuinely coming towards you, want to connect. They want a straightforward communication. Um, and again, this has to do with the spiritual calling. It, it is also destiny. It is that, okay, we, we're not meant for each other at that time. It wasn't the right time at all. But now it is the right time. And both of you have held on to each other. So yeah, there we go. This is very exciting and um, it will, yeah, will make you surprised in a good way, I would say. Um, I think Leo season will be very, very exciting for you um, uh, here at Virgo, really. Uh, I think you should keep your options open. You have a great energy and uh, now is the time actually to reconnect and, and be open to have a proper look at the options with an open heart as well. And it seems that's what you're doing here. Virgo. So thank you for um, watching. I wish you a wonderful weekend and please like, subscribe and leave a comment.